I have the pleasure now to speak to Michael Gerstlauer, head of uh, SMB Partner Sales in Dach. Uh, Michael, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Thanks for having me. Appreciate your time. So, uh, SMBs, um, the Mittelstand, in Germany, a very big segment. Uh, can you tell us a little about, a bit about cloud adoption status uh, in that segment? Yeah, it is indeed a, a big segment. We, the way we cluster the market, we talk about uh, you know, more than three million companies that, that would fall into that cluster. And you know, as we heard earlier today, um, a fair estimation is that kind of 5% of the workloads that can be ran in the cloud are actually running in the cloud. So there is significant growth potential there still. So it's a great, great time to be in that market. Very exciting times indeed. Wow, that does sound like a lot of growth potential. Um, is that the same situation in Switzerland and Austria? I would say it is comparable. Um, you, you, would see, you would see probably um, uh, different figures if you really uh, you know, start to measure it, but we're still also in Austria, also in Switzerland, we are at the beginning of cloud journeys. That is, that is definitely true. What are the kind of uh, main blockers, do you think, in this kind of technology adoption? You know, I think blockers is, is maybe a, a too, too tough of a word, actually. I think it's... Um, it's uh, an evolution of, of understanding of the opportunities. Um, the, 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 the small and medium business is very much marked by a, a buyer persona. So we have, we have managers, managing directors who founded their companies. Um, they basically are all about the, the, the content, the value prop of their companies, and not necessarily so much about IT. I would say this is fair for you know the what is what is the general understanding of Mittelstand. Of course, there are cloud native companies. There's a different story, but I think it is it is a, a big task to bring across what the cloud can do, what the value prop can be in terms of cost saving, in terms of efficiency gains, and um, that's that's our task to bring this across in a in an in a understandable format. What have you found are uh, good approaches to tell these stories to the market? I think it's extremely important to, to listen to customers, to really understand what their business needs are. And, you know, very often the business needs are, are rather basic and this is not meant in any kind of negative way. It's about, you know, customer relationship management. It's about backing up customer data. It's about, it's about uh, writing invoices. This is partially, you know, the, the very basic stuff. And then if you go into manufacturing environments, you start seeing very sophisticated use cases around the use of data from, from ERP systems, from sensors. You start reaching out uh, into the analytical space, but you always have to translate these IT words and you know, IoT is a very abstract word into a concrete business value like you know, um, lower downtime of your production equipment. And if you, if you start talking this, this talk to, to a COO of a company, he or she will listen. You mentioned the manufacturing uh, sector, uh, which is, um, I think, the, one of the biggest sectors in Germany when we talk about the Mittelstand. Um, what is the kind of um, uh, status there as compared to other sectors? Do you think they're more, um, let's say, um, eager to adopt the cloud than other branches? I would say the manufacturing vertical is eager to, to realize efficiency gains. And it's, it's our, our task, our duty to translate the, the power of the cloud into efficiency gains for them. Um, and we, we have to bring across what the cloud, what this technology can do for them. And um, it's hard to compare it actually, because at the end of the day, the, the, the people who run those companies are businessmen and businesswomen, and, and they want to maximize the success of their company. Thank you very much, Michael. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me. Pleasure.